think the value of the uh, CPD as it unrolls is that it's going to be a much more efficient way to provide education than what we've been doing in the past. I think it's being more mindful and more explicit around what are we teaching and are we uh, making certain that our learners are achieving uh, defined competencies. We do a good job now, but we can do a better job. I think that's the mass mass message. We can always do better. We know in clinical practice uh, we, we achieve a standard, but there's always a better way to do things and this is, uh, I think, a, a mechanism to achieve that next level of improvement. The CANMEDS framework really is the scaffolding around which uh, uh, competency-based uh, education is built. Uh, it gives us the seven competencies, the roles, uh, which are important um, for, uh, we think, as the, the whole physician is a competent physician. And so it really gives us um, the tools by which we can uh, uh, develop competency and also assess it. I think it's very good as we have it now. It does need to be tweaked. Uh, there are some uh, roles, uh, some I issues related to interprofessional education, related to how we relate to other care providers, uh, patient safety initiatives that do need to be incorporated into the CANMEDS roles. I think we need to make them somewhat more granular for each of the disciplines. Less voluminous, but uh, somewhat more specific uh, to the needs of, of each of the specialties and subspecialties at the Royal College. Well, we plan to do it on a on a progressive and iterative uh, stage. We are starting with uh, identifying two disciplines, uh, medical oncology, which is a subspecialty, and otolaryngology, head and neck surgery, which is a specialty, and working with those expanded specialty committees to develop the milestones and create the processes which will need to take place within the programs. We plan to support the program directors as well as the faculty going forward However, this will need to be iterative because it will be different in every university and so lots of consultation, lots of engagement and our commitment to make it as easy and as practical and as effective as possible. Well, the excitement is that I think it's a, it's a new challenge, it's a new quest, it's something we should shoot for um, and I think it's the natural next step for medical education and for the CANMEDS uh, framework as it, as it gets more and more legs. Okay, so what really excites me about that is the, um, is the focus on competence throughout one's career. It really is groundbreaking in, in a way that uh, is long overdue, I think. We have, since the inception of the Royal College, used the uh, old-fashioned model of essentially the apprentice model of education where you follow me around for five years and at the end of that time you should be uh, uh, competent to uh, practice your specialty. Uh, and that has served us reasonably well, um, but it's certainly no one could say that it is an efficient way to educate someone. It does work, but it can take much longer, I think, than a uh, competency-based model. As chair of the GIM uh, Specialty Committee, one of the things that really gets me excited about the competency by design um, by the Royal College is our chance to really pinpoint those competencies that we really want our graduates to have when they, when they leave with. The Royal College recognizes that CBD is an enormous undertaking. It's an enormous undertaking for the Royal College and it's also an enormous undertaking for all our academic partners and the faculties of medicine across the country. We're very committed to supporting the implementation of CBD and with that in mind, one of the things that we've done uh, just in the last number of months is we've created a unit called the Educational Product Development and Dissemination Unit and that's a unit that's within the Office of Specialty Education and it's focused on CBD and its implementation. This unit really has two mandates. The first one is to develop products and tools that will help all of our partners across the country to embed and incorporate um, competency-based practices into their programs. 
The second thing that we hope to do is to create an online community and I guess technology platform that will enable us to utilize and share all of the great work that's being done by our academic partners from across the country as well as to support our content experts in the development of new products and tools that will fill in some of the gaps associated uh, you know, with CBD and to help people to implement it. So I think that between those two things, our intent is to maximize and leverage all of those supports and underpinnings for competency-based education, uh, both in residency education and in CBD.